I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is drawing words that have the long I vowel sound. I'm going to come right here in the center and put a dot. And then I'm going to draw a curve line, curve line, curve line. Keep going, keep going, curve line, curve line, connect. And inside I'm going to write the word long. And then the letter I. And here's the little symbol we use above. Okay, come right up above here and let's just draw a wavy line, semi-wavy. Starting right here, we're just going to go curve line up, down, up, down, out, in, down, connect. Coming in between, we're just going to go up, down, curve line up, down, and connect. We're going to put some wavy lines, wavy line, wavy line, because this is fire. The long I sound on fire. Okay? Now come down here on the right and let's put a dot. And we're going to draw a big curve line up, in, big curve line down, back to the dot. We're going to put a couple of little dots inside just to show a little bit of texture. And this is a lime, lime. And there's that long I vowel, okay? Now come down here and let's put a dot right there and draw a circle. And next to it, let's put a dot there and draw a circle. Come on the right hand side and draw a curve line out in, connect, come on the left, curve line out, in, connect. Let's draw another line inside, curve line out, in, connect, and on this side, curve line out, in, connect. Now come over to this one and we're going to draw a curve line out, in, connect, and on the right side, we're just going to draw a curve line and then bam, it crashes into that. Don't draw through your drawing. Come down to the bottom and draw another curve line up and bam, it crashes into that. Do not draw through your line, uh, drawing. Same thing here. You're going to draw a curve line up and then bam, it crashes into that one. Don't draw through your drawing. Same thing here. Cro uh, curve line, bam, it cro uh, crashes into that line. Don't draw through your drawing. But on the left side, you can draw your whole curve line again. Come back over here to the right. Put one dot, two dots, baby circle, straight line curve to the left, straight line curve to the right, one, two, three little straight lines, one, two. Come over to the left one, one dot, two dots, baby circle in the middle, straight line curve line to the left, straight line curve line to the right, one, two, three straight lines, one, two. Okay, now we're going to draw a straight line out, curve line in, straight line down, put a baby circle and go one, two, three straight lines. Come over here and on the left we're just going to draw a straight line out, Curve line in, baby circle, one, two, three straight lines. Now I'm just going to put a little line there. Okay, what is this? What are these? They are mice. Mice. There's that long vowel I sound. Okay, come over here on the left and we're just going to draw one, two, three straight lines. And then we're going to draw one, two, three straight lines. And what are these called? They're called lines. We use lines all the time. Lines. 
and there is that long I sound. Now come up here, put a dot, and we're going to draw a curve line out on the left, curve line out on the right, curve line down on the right, come back to the left, curve line down, connect. Inside we're just going to draw a curve line, curve line, connect. Come down to this bottom part and draw a wavy, wavy, wavy line. And now come up and draw one, two, three straight lines. 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 If you have room. One, two, three straight lines. One, two, three straight lines. And what is this? This is a kite. And there is our long I vowel sound. Okay, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, before we start to color, of course I forgot something. I forgot our dotted line that goes all the way around the edge of our paper. This is called a border. This is the easiest one somebody can draw. And I just think it finishes off our drawings and it would be a nice finish for a chart. Okay, now <clears throat> for our fire, we're going to triple color. We're going to start out with light to dark. Just put some yellow stripes in. And then I'm going to follow that with some orange. Just some lines and then I'm going to do my red lightly because you still want to see the other colors that's my fire then with my black I'm just going to put some loop-de-loops kind of look like we're smoky okay next one my line same thing I'm going to start off with a light yellow green, just get the color down, and then I'm going to go over that with my regular green just to give it a double color look. Okay? <coughs> Excuse me. Now with my mice, I am going to, if you've got apricot, pink, orange, you color on the inside of their ears, little baby circles here for their paws. I am going to go ahead and take my regular brown, color in my spaces right here and here. Don't want to color too dark because you don't want to lose your detail and I bring this loop-de-loop -loop line over a little bit so you can kind of see they're connected. Do their faces and you could use gray, you can use black, if you use black don't do it too dark and finally let's use A little bit of black just to do their noses. There we go. Okay. Now the next one, you can choose any color you want <clears throat> to do your lines. I did blue green just to add a little bit of color. Okay. And for my kite. Same thing, I gave my kite some red bows, again, just to add some color to my overall chart. And I used green for my sections. So I used green and I used pink. You'll do a better job than me. Okay? Alright, 
right, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here are my long eye vowel sounds. Fire, lime, mice, lines, and kite. Okay, bye-bye.